Tyler, thank you. It is a typical school day today for districts in Washington County. After a series of fake bomb threats affecting multiple districts just yesterday, as we told you here on News 10 ABC, those phony threats for schools to operate on either a two hour delay or in some cases schools were closed for everybody's safety to give police a time to investigate. Now, the county sheriff's office says the canine helped in their search of the school buildings. They found no explosives, thankfully. Four districts decided to close for the day with the others delaying classes. Law enforcement and school leaders meeting yesterday to discuss a path forward. Parents tell News 10 it's been a scary time for the kids. I was like, oh my gosh, are you kidding me? I'm like, I'm like, this is this is, is this serious? And then I got the initial phone call that it was actually, you know, legit. I don't know, just hug your kids, be close to your kids, talk about it as much as you can. Like, fill them in, don't keep them in the dark. Cambridge, one of the districts that closed yesterday, the superintendent telling News 10 ABC the district is looking at how they can better handle these situations in the future. Again, nothing. The main concerns are for the safety of everyone involved. I mean, and I, I absolutely understand the, the angst that folks feel. We feel it here as well. You know, as soon as you hear that there may be a danger, you, your, your heart sinks. I think the solution to this is a, a much broader level of conversation with policymakers and emergency services and educators. Unsettling for everybody involved, according to the governor's office, more than 50 districts across the state received those swatting threats yesterday, those phony threats of violence. Governor Hochul responding to the incidents, writing this, quote, I want to reassure parents that their children are safe at school. Swatting threats are false and intended to cause panic and scare students, teachers, and families. Governor says state police continue to investigate the unfounded threats. Make sure you stay with News 10 ABC for the latest on this as they look for those responsible for what happened this week and also last week as well affecting other schools here in the district.